News 4 is working to find out the latest condition of a disabled man injured in a house fire. It broke out around 2 this morning. The man was unable to walk and had to be rescued. It happened on Caroline near Montrose in the Gate neighborhood of South St. Louis. Our Corey Stark has the details from the scene. It was a two o'clock wake up call a South City family wasn't expecting. We smelled smoke. We heard a boom and the neighbor called my mom and she said that she seen smoke and there was a blaze in the alley in the gangway. We looked out the window and we saw the neighbor's house was on fire. Seven members of the Gaither family were staying in the neighboring home of where the fire started. Soon after seeing the flames, they heard screams of desperation. I come out here and I see the fire in between the houses and I hear the neighbor calling help, help. Whitney Gaither says she acted quickly to save her disabled neighbor. I tried to like break the door on my shoulder and then finally I had to kick it in, but I couldn't even go in because the smoke was just coming out. So I had to call for my dad to come over and help me. When we arrived on scene, uh, the neighbors from the uh, exposure building were, were attempting to, to access and we knew very quickly that we had a rescue situation on our hands. St. Louis firefighters focused on getting the man out of his house, first by removing a power wheelchair that the man was confined to. As the life-saving efforts continued, the fire spread, heavily damaging the Gaither family's home. It's completely gone. She can no longer live there. My family can't live there. The Red Cross is assisting both families displaced by the fire. Corey Stark, News 4. At last check, the man was taken to the hospital in critical, unstable condition. A firefighter also has a shoulder injury from fighting the fire. The cause is still under investigation.